Hey guys, Juliet here. Um, I know I haven't posted in a while, but I'm going to try to be doing more videos as I go. Um, I've just been pretty busy. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do a really vibrant um, flower makeup. So to start off, you're going to want to use moisturizer. And it's really good to have moisturizer that has SPF in it. That way it will protect your skin underneath your makeup. From the skin. And after that, um, I'm going to put on primer. Um, this is what I use. Um, so that's just going to hold your makeup on underneath your skin and make sure it's like it doesn't easily come off. So especially on like hot days where like you know you're going to be like sweating and stuff, it's good to put on primer. It'll just help your makeup to stay on longer. So after you put your primer on, we're going to put on foundation. And this is what I use. Um, I typically use CoverGirl for my foundation and concealer um, just because I found that it stays on longer. So after you put your foundation on, we're then going to move on to concealer, which is, this is what I'm going to be using. Um, so if you aren't quite sure how to use concealer, basically what you do is you just get a little bit on your finger, and then you just put it on like that, and then you just kind of dab it in, and you want to make sure that you just keep it on the same spot. You don't want to rub it in because it'll like rub it off, but if you just pat it on, it'll stay in that one spot. Okay, so once your concealer is done, um, we're going to move on to the lips. And because it's a really bright and vibrant look, um, I'm just going to go with a really light lip color. So this is what I'm going to be using. It's um, Baby Lips from Maybelline, and it's a really hot pink color. So you're basically just going to put that on like a chapstick. So after you do your lips, we're then going to move on to contouring and highlight. So I'm just going to take a really thin brush and some bronzer, and I'm just going to use that to just make a line there and there, and I'm going to do two lines on either side of my nose, and then one right there and there, and then just under my jawline just to kind of contour my face. So then I'm just going to take a sponge and just blend it all in. Okay, so after you do contouring, we're then going to move on to highlight. So I'm just going to take this highlighting powder and you're going to want to get a really large brush and you're basically just going to dab a little bit of powder on the brush and just sweep it right above where we just contoured. So after the highlighting powder is on, we're then going to move on to eyeshadow. So for that, to start off with, you're going to want to take a really light green and just apply it on the base. So this is the color that I'm going to be using and I'm just going to apply that to the base of my eyelid. So then after you apply that green on, you're then going to take a purple. So I'm going to use this purple right here. And you're just going to apply that right above the green. So then after you apply that purple, you're then going to take a kind of fuchsia color and just apply it right above that purple, but only on half of your eye. So then as soon as you apply that, um, you're just going to want to kind of wave it off. That way it's just barely on there. Um, and then after that, we're going to take just a really neutral, um, light, kind of like tan color. And you're just going to apply that right up to your eyebrow. Okay, so once you apply that on there, um, you're then going to take a really bright white color. And you're just going to put that right in the corner of both of your lids just to add a little bit of highlight. So for that, I'm going to be using this. Um, it's basically just um, eyeshadow dust. And so I'm just going to take this little tiny brush and just sprinkle it on. And so you're just going to want to get it right in the corner of your eye right there. Okay, and as soon as you have that in the corner, you're then just going to apply a little bit of it right over the green. And then once you do that, um, you're then going to take um, mascara. And for that, I'm going to be using this blue mascara from Katy Perry CoverGirl. And you're just going to put that on, and then after that I'm just going to crimp my eyelashes just to make them a little bit longer. Okay, so this is the look. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll probably be posting more um, probably either the end of this week or sometime next week. I know Gabby will be posting a few videos as well. So yeah, please subscribe to her channel and feel free to like and leave a comment of what type of videos you guys would like to see more of. Thanks for watching.
Bye.